Stick figure JPEGs that you could right click and save. Are you winning son? Did a six year old actually draw these cartoons? I mean, wow, look at the art. What's up NFT Explorers, Mike the Mazel here to help you navigate through the metaverse as your no shill resource. Okay, well this one, full disclosure, I hold five and I'll explain why, what motherfuckers are, and help you get an insight when it comes to NFTs. Back in December, I decided to buy some motherfucker at 0.1 ETH or about $400 at the time. See, the reason being is this is my own personal approach with NFTs is to find projects under 0.5 ETH and make a decision to buy either to flip and sell it at a 5X or 10X and use profits from there to you know support smaller artists. Now, I am not a whale. Let me repeat that, I am not a whale. I still actually have a full-time job and I create content with NFTs on my free time. So my initial buy of Sartoshi was because of the art. I mean, it was hilarious. Here, you know, some people come in and talk about NFTs, about, oh, look at the art with different collection. Well, Sartoshi's motherfuckers was just a feel good stick figure that legit, it just made me laugh to think about, especially if normie homies ask me about JPEGs. I'm like, oh, check out motherfuckers. At least that's what I was used to say when the price wasn't as high as it is right now. Let's fast forward at the end of the month of December, I purchased another one at 0.07 ETH or about $280 at the time. So the reason being again was I liked the project and I wanted to surprise wifey with an NFT considering she really just doesn't get it. And it just sounds ridiculous to show her that picture and get her reaction. Well, I really don't think she really cares when it comes to JPEGs and is very supportive with me with NFTs and all that. Now we have two motherfuckers from December. At the beginning of the year, I kept track of motherfuckers like what were people talking about in the Discord and even on Twitter. The current state of NFTs right now is you have to get in on whitelist, which means just to be able to mint, you have to meet certain requirements and grind it out. So an example would be inviting 20 plus people to a Discord server, liking, retweeting, and following their Twitter and jumping all over like different types of hoops just to get your name on a list. And it's not even a guaranteed spot on a whitelist because a Discord server could have over 200,000 members, but a drop is only like 3,000 um, in the collection. So it could be something that's priced at one ETH. That just doesn't make sense to me to put up one ETH when there's definitely a lot of NFT collections out there in the market that's still building. So what I did was use genie.xyz, an NFT aggregator to help me sweep floors, and I bought three. For those curious to know how to buy more than one NFT in a single transaction, check out the video I did on them as they are one of the Web3 tools I like to use when it comes to NFT floor sweeps. Let's get down to business and explain what are motherfuckers according to the creator, Sartoshi. So I'll link his article and Twitter in the descriptions below. So make sure to check it out, give him a follow. And if you want to read more detail, click the link below. So Sartoshi started in March, 2021, looking at digital art on Super Rare, creating the name Sartoshi as a combination of, you guessed it, Satoshi, you know, Bitcoin and art. So Sartoshi used an anonymous image uh, based off of like art he's collected from Super Rare and just different images. What hit hyperspace was CryptoPunks and his fascination with Larva Labs with what they created without any blueprint. Sartoshi bought his first punk in April and got a few punks and began to trade them during JPEG summer, which let's be honest, summer 2021 will go down in history as JPEG season. He, she, um, Sartoshi would tweet out jokes and memes about absurdities of how some stuff was just over the top, especially when it comes to art and just like, NFT collections and just the space in general. You just had to be there in summer 2021, which I'll probably do another video just to go over that. So Sartoshi started drawing cartoons, tweeting them out and minted on foundation with a minimum reserve price of 0.1 ETH, doing a 50-50 split with charity. They gave a positive sp spin to the word motherfucker like GM motherfucker. The cartoon style was fit with everything being done and experienced with Sartoshi. So their favorite meme was, are you winning son? Template, one that you got to see for yourself. I'll definitely link that in the video. And it's just hilarious in my opinion. The key moment was when he drew a cigarette on a figure and made it his PFP with his typical orange background. Now, I'm a bit more bullish on orange backgrounds now that I'm thinking about it. 
the whole aesthetic is it's web3 i do what i want vibe and it definitely shows this was the part of what if there is a motherfucker inside of us we're all dgens on our own way i mean who else would watch a video about jpegs he wanted to capture that in the nft collection my favorite part was that it references he references g money and how the 10k collection of punks and bored apes resonates with people this was something that resonated with me with motherfuckers traits and rarities he used was from the legendary crypto punks with 88 zombies 24 apes and nine aliens and also included 21 one of ones as you know a nod to summer 2021 so the next was the dev work after reaching out to richard the co-founder of manifold.xyz manifold xyz for those that don't know enables web3 creators to create custom contracts he pointed sartoshi out to west coast nft basically an all-star team that is definitely a go-to resource uh one of the projects they've done was doodles so as sartoshi was building there's plenty of discussions about public domain where a creator releases the ip rights over their creation so that anyone can essentially use it for whatever they want for this grand experiment it will be implemented like that as well now the launch date was november 30 2021 priced in at 0.069 eth no mentions of the project no whitelist no honoraries no paid promos nothing not even a discord it went live at 4 20 p.m and was sold out in minutes we are all motherfuckers no kings no ruler no roadmaps sartoshi himself even isn't in the officially unofficial discord by design this whole group of individuals building something special is all without sartoshi and it's just a bunch of motherfuckers i personally jump in and out of discords and i like going into the discord just to look at the updates on announcements and just kind of look at what people are talking about what people are building so sartoshi came in created motherfuckers with no ego and just a way to create a collection that resonates with motherfuckers now i am bullish on motherfuckers because of the community for and foremost it isn't some fake hype project one that was built and is continuing to create there is an active community that understands web3 with discord groups it's all right if there isn't you know much activity in the discord but that means builders are building. It's on the community itself to steer projects in the direction they want it to go to. Now, the current numbers for motherfuckers are a 10,000 NFT avatar collection. There is about 4,941 unique holders. Current floor right now is 2.63 ETH or about $7,500. None of this is financial advice. And it's just me sharing my background with motherfuckers and a way for you to understand motherfuckers NFT more. Definitely take your time and look at other NFT projects under a certain price range, especially if you are just starting off. Be careful when it comes to Instagram, especially Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and everywhere else when it comes to why you want to get into NFTs. There's so, so many projects out there that it takes time to find the right one, especially with the amount of noise there is now compared to what it was in 2021. I'm still bullish on motherfuckers and will keep an eye out on the ecosystem and creators there. What do you think of Sartoshi? What projects under 0.5 ETH are you looking at? Will there be more motherfuckers? Tap that thumbs up for this video because we're all winning. Sound off in the comments below what you think of the next wave of NFT avatars will be. The current one right now was anime avatars. I have a feeling it'll shift to something else. Gently tap that thumbs up for this video and turn the notifications on for in-depth NFT breakdowns. Watch another video about NFT projects, tools, and trends. Stay legendary and I'll see you in the metaverse.